Carrie from Carrie's Culinary Crafts. And if you're new, welcome. I hope you'll hit that subscribe button down below if you like what you see here today. Uh, today I'm going to go ahead and make a double chocolate zucchini bread. Um, this is part of the zucchini series. For the most part, I'm doing things other than zucchini breads, but I did promise that I would do a few different um, zucchini breads other than your your regular zucchini bread. Um, all the different types of zucchini breads we like here in the house. So it really doesn't matter what I what type of zucchini bread I make. We love them all. Uh, my kids' favorite zucchini bread is double chocolate zucchini bread. So that is what I'm going to go ahead and make today. And we'll go ahead and get started. And I will show you the ingredients that we're going to put in it. I'm going to throw it all together. And I will try and remember to link the recipe that I follow down below. Um... Hopefully I remember, if I don't, leave it in the comments, tell me to attach it if I forgot. Um, but okay, we're gonna go ahead and get started. Now, a lot of times whenever you are making breads or baking and stuff like that, they have you separate wet and dry ingredients and you can do that and sometimes I do that. But I found with the zucchini bread recipe, it really doesn't make that much of a difference. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and, you know, add ingredients, mix it a little bit, add a little bit more. Uh, so what we need for this recipe, I'll go ahead and shift the camera down below here. Um, I have a half a cup of oil here. You need some kind of a neutral oil, whether it's vegetable oil, canola oil, avocado oil, um, I would not suggest using like an olive oil or anything like that, but hey, if that's all you got, then use it. Um, but I have avocado here, avocado oil, and we have a half a cup of brown sugar, half a cup of white sugar, half a cup of cocoa powder, half a cup of mini chocolate chips. I have one cup of flour, and I have some zucchini here. Uh, this was one large zucchini. I went ahead and um, shredded it all up and I got four cups worth of zucchini. Uh, now you only need two cups worth for the zucchini bread recipe. So I'm only going to be ha using half of this. I'm gonna use the half for another zucchini recipe which will be in another video. So stay tuned for that. That's gonna be a... Um, a lemon zucchini bread, which is fabulous. If you like lemon, you're, you'll love this. Um, so I'll need two cups of this zucchini, a little bit of vanilla, like a teaspoon of vanilla. I will need one teaspoon of baking powder, a quarter teaspoon of salt, and a quarter teaspoon of, oh, this is baking soda one teaspoon of baking soda, and then a quarter of a teaspoon of baking powder. Two eggs, did I say that? Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put most of these ingredients in. I'm not gonna put the, the chocolate chips in yet, and I'm not gonna put the zucchini in yet, but I'm gonna go ahead and put all of the other ingredients in and get them nice and mixed up. So here's the oil. Oh, you know what? Maybe let me move this a little closer. Okay, so we got the oil in there. I'm gonna go ahead and put in the brown sugar, the sugar, and yeah, we'll go ahead and put the cocoa powder, and the vanilla. And, and we'll go ahead and give this a good mix to what's nice and mixed in there. Would help if I plugged it in.
Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and add in my eggs. I could have put those in before I started it, but they were kind of hiding back there. I didn't see it. a little spatula just to make sure I get all the dry ingredients off the side because we want all of that well combined. Some of that cocoa powder is up on top. Okay, so down below at the bottom, I just checked to see some, you know, sometimes you get to so serve some dry ingredients on the bottom. So you just want to check to see, make sure that it's all mixed in Everything looks pretty good. So I am going to go ahead and add in my two cups. Oh, forgot about these. I'll add in my teaspoon of baking soda, quarter teaspoon of salt, and a quarter teaspoon of baking powder. And I want to go ahead and get that mixed in really good before I start to add the other stuff. Because you definitely don't want clumps of baking powder or baking soda in with your chocolate zucchini bread. That would not taste good. Okay, that looks good and combined. So now I'm going to go ahead and add in... Can't lift with that hand two cups of zucchini. Now the recipe itself that I'm following calls for one and a half cups, but I've always used two cups of zucchini. So that is what I am using. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get that zucchini mixed in. And once that is nice and incorporated, I'm going to go ahead and add in my one cup of flour. Now, if you'd like, you could add... Um, like a half a teaspoon of cinnamon, if you'd like. I'm not going to add it in into this. I do add it into my regular zucchini bread, um, but I'm not adding it into my chocolate. But I do believe on the recipe, it does say that you can add that in, but I'm not gonna do that this time. And we're just gonna scrape down our sides here. Because here where I am, it is really, really humid, and I noticed that this is pretty runny, it would probably still be okay to go ahead and bake it like that, but I'm just going to add just a little bit more flour, just like a quarter of a cup, just to be on the safe side. We'll go ahead and get that mixed up. That already looks a little better. All right.
Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and add in my chocolate chips. Half a cup of chocolate chips. And these I'm just gonna stir because I don't really wanna smash up my chocolate chips. I wanna keep them whole. So I'm just gonna mix those in there. Yikes, making lots of noise. And then I'll get myself a bread pan or a loaf pan, whichever you want to call it, and get some parchment paper. If you don't have to use parchment paper, you certainly can spray it or butter it or whatever you'd like. I find personally I like to use um, parchment paper because it makes the whole thing easy to lift out and I can cut it instead of leaving it in side this pan then it's kind of like hard to get out um, and then a quick secret here whenever you use parchment paper you see how it doesn't uh, stay very good down in there a quick trick for you crumble it all up if you crumble it all up and then straighten it out then it will stick into the sides of your pan so much better. See that? And then all we're gonna do is pour this chocolate zucchini mixture into our loaf pan. Hold up before it goes back behind there. Okay. Get all that yummy goodness out. go there is our chocolate zucchini bread now I'm going to stick this in a preheated oven at 350 degrees for between 40 and 50 minutes you want to check it at 40 minutes stick a tooth um, toothbrush <laughs> a toothpick in there if it comes out clean it's done um, I usually find it does need that full 50 minutes um, but just make sure you go ahead and check it at 40 minutes because you don't want to burn your zucchini bread. So I'm going to go ahead and stick this in 350 degree oven. Check it at 40 minutes. Whenever it is done, whether it's 40 or 50 minutes, I'm going to go ahead and pull it out. And I'm going to let it cool for about five minutes in here. And then I'm going to lift the whole thing out and put it on a cooling rack and leave it cool the rest of the way. And that is how simple it is to do some chocolate zucchini bread. Um, I find that the majority of these staples I have on hand and I usually always have zucchini on hand, whether it's fresh zucchini from my garden or um, I do preserve a lot of it, put it into two cup servings and I freeze it. So in the middle of the winter, if I wanna make a zucchini bread, I can just pull out one of those um, one of those bags of shredded zucchini and go ahead and make some fresh zucchini bread. And I'll bring you back for the finished product.